Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again, and yes, I am looking like shit, but whatever. This is going to be part two of my recent haul. It's like a combined haul from a couple of different places. Um, in this one, it is the first part of the nail polish part. This is going to be the Revlon, um, the Sally Hansen, and the Sinful Colors that I bought in two, three different buys kind of thing. So I'm going to start with the Revlon stuff. So first we have from the Revlon Parfumery line, Lime Basil. Looks like that. It's a really nice fresh green kind of colour. Then we have Apricot Nectar. which is a nice soft orangey peach colour. I guess it's an apricot colour. Then we have Moonlit Woods, which is a slightly frosty um, lilac kind of purple. Formula on this one is not actually very good. It's quite sheer. So you can see where I've gone through it. Um, yeah, a bit disappointed in that. And same with this one. This one is Surf Spray. Which in the bottle looks like this really gorgeous blue. But it's... It doesn't smell like the beach. It smells like... Moisturiser. Interestingly enough, uh, Moonlit Woods kind of reminds me a little bit of violets, I think it is. Apricot Nectar smells exactly like Apricot Nectar. And Lime Basil with this really, really nice, fresh, limey scent without being too herbally. Um, I have another one from Revlon's Scented line, um, and it's in a similar colourway to Moonlit Woods. Let me see them together. They look very similar. This one's got more sort of bits in it, I guess you could say, but it's also got a way better formula. This one is called Not So Blueberry, um, but this this formula is way way better opaque in two coats so and it smells like blueberries <laughs> that's always a good thing then we have hushed blush which is kind of like a dusky peach kind of color which is I don't know if I think of it as blush but it's kind of like, if you look at, um, that's apricot nectar next to it. It's like a dusky version of that, if you're not mean. Then we have decadent, which is one of my favourite types of purple. Um, in the camera thing, it is looking blue, but it is actually purple. Um, but it does have a slight blue sheen to it, which is why I really like it. So, that's decadent. And we have Wild, which is one that I'd wanted for a while because I saw it on someone else's channel and I thought it looked really, really good. It's kind of a soft green with bits of glitter in it and a slight pink shift. But I don't know whether I got a dud one or something, but the formula on this is kind of crap. <laughs> like, it's super sheer... Um, and the sparkles don't really show up properly. Mm. Then we have Dreamer, which is actually really, really fabulous. It is a blue cream, like a dusky sky blue cream. It actually reminds me of another nail polish I've got. But, um, so that's Dreamer. Then I got Girly, and Girly is like Whimsical. It's the same idea as Whimsical, where you've got kind of the milky base 
with lots of different coloured glitters in it. Now, Whimsical is one of the most disappointing Revlon nail polishes I own. It just does not come out very well on the nail. It looks kind of shit, basically. I was kind of worried that Girly was going to be the same, but it wasn't, which is really, really good. It actually works really, really nicely. So it has a dusky pink base um, with purple, pink, um, and fuchsia glitters of a couple of different sizes in it. That's really pretty. I really like that. Even though it's a tiny bit sheer, that's kind of what you expect for that kind of um, makeup, uh, nail polish. And the last one from Revlon is Transforming Effects Top Coat in Nude Graffiti. This is one of the only ones I didn't already own. Um, so I have put it over... So looks like in the bottom. Um, I have put it over a black at the end so you can see all the bits in it. It has bar glitters and hexes of a couple of different sizes and they're all matte and I think there's some soft peachy pink ones in there as well. It's quite interesting actually. The bar glitters also lie completely flat which is really good because when they don't, it sucks. Next up, we have Sally Hansen. So, I picked up a couple free from the Satin Glam line. Um, I got these off of um, Cosmetic Capital. They have a really good price on nail polishes. My hubby introduced me to it, so it's his fault. Um, so this is a orange it's kind of like a muted orange. Um, it is ever so slightly textured, but that's how you get the satin kind of finish. I mainly got these because I already have the purple version in this line, and I really liked it, um, and so I thought I'd get the other ones. The orange one I quite like. For some reason, I'm drawn to orange at the moment. This one is teal tool. This one is not very good. It's quite sheer after two coats. You'd need, I don't know if you can really tell, but um, you'd need three and the colour is just kind of a bit blur. Which is disappointing because teal is like one of my favourite colours. And the third one is Silk Onyx, which is a, a gunmetal grey colour. I think they were going for black, but it doesn't come out black. It comes out grey. But this one's actually quite nice. I quite like that one. Then I got one from the Complete Salon Manicure line. This one is All Fired Up, which is a red orange or an orange red, depending on your point of view. Not a bad formula. Slightly jellyish, but still pretty good. I don't really have any really bright colours in that line, so. Then we have from their hard, what's it, hard as nails extreme wear line. This is Blew Me Away, which is just a really nice mid-toned blue. I tend to have lots of like dark blues and not too many mid-toned blues, so. And then another orange. This is another hard as nails extreme wear. This is Sun Kissed. Which is very pretty. And it is basically a touch brighter. One of the bottom is Sun Sheen and this top one is Sun Kiss. So you can see that Sun Sheen is slightly muted in tone. Then I got one from the Patent Gloss line. This one is called Vinyl. And it looks completely black, and I love how shiny it is, like patent leather. It looks gorgeous. It It's black, let's face it, but it actually has a purple undertone to it, which you can only see in the bottle. It doesn't come out on the nail. There's none of that look at it in a certain angle and think, oh yes, that's purple. But it's actually purple, but it's black, if you know what I mean. It's a bit like um, Lincoln Park after dark or is it looking park at midnight one of those two the one that just looks black black um it's like that but technically i think it's actually supposed to be super dark purple 
And the last two Sally Hansons are from the Velvet Texture line. The first one is Plush, which is a teal. I like the finish on these. It's ever so slightly textured, but like not really, but it has that velvety kind of look to it. I actually quite like the look of it. I like that sort of thing. Um, the purple, uh, the teal one is not the best formula. It's a little bit off. I don't know what it is with teal and nail polish makers. It's like they can't do a teal without it being a bit off. At least that's my experience. I've yet to find an absolutely perfect teal. My search continues. Um, and the other one is called Crushed, which is purple. Um, kind of a pinky purple, but purple nevertheless. Oh, and I really like this one. And this one's formula is better than the other one. And lastly for this haul, we have Sinful Colours. Most of these came from the shopping trip with my daughter. Um, because they had some that were like 50 cents and some that were a dollar. Some that were like $3.70, which is still less than you normally pay for Sinful Colours in Australia. So I'll start with the one that was the cheapest, one of the cheapest ones, which was the 50 cent sinful color called fire red which is actually number 44 so i guess it's one of the originals or one of the early ones um but it is just this really gorgeous red like it's it's just gorgeous it's kind of a darker red but i love it F great formula on this one it's fantastic so that's fire red then we have Aquamarine, which is a tealy colour. Again, with the teals not being great, the formula on this is not great and it's slightly patchy and streaky and after the first coat you think this isn't going anywhere. It does build up relatively well, but I don't know. I don't know what it is about that particular colour. Somebody who makes nail polish, tell me why is it why is it like that? Then we have from the um Blue, Bloom Blast collection. We have Standing Bloom Only, which is an orange. Um, now what I've done is underneath the end there, I've actually put on a coat of Sally Hansen's Sunkist, um, just so you can see what it would look like if you put it over an orange and the other end is two coats on its own so you can see it's kind of see-through unless you put it over something. I suppose if you did three coats it might be opaque. Just saying. Um, and then we have triple platinum. I've been looking at this for ages and ages and ages because it's this really interesting metallic-y um, grayed out purple. Um, I wasn't so happy with it when I like swatched it. The first um, coat was super sheer and the second coat uh, improved it a bit but I don't know if you can actually see but it's actually pretty much see through. I think you'd still be able to see your nail line. I might not be able to tell in my lighting but yeah. So that's triple platinum. Wasn't totally crazy about that in the end. Then we have Superstar, which in the bottle looks like a blue base with purple and blue glitters in it. Um, so I have put a blue nail polish underneath. I think I used Blew Me Away from Sally Hansen under the end of it so that you can sort of see what it would look like if you put something over it and that end is two coats on its own so you can see it works a lot better as a topper and it makes all of the different elements in it kind of show up a bit more it looks like great in the bottle it just didn't quite translate to the nail then we have i miss you which is a purple kind of jelly base with silver and purple glitters in it. Which, um, I have put a purple nail polish underneath it. I cannot remember what I used, but 
I put a purple nail polish underneath it so you could see what it would look like if you used it as a topper. You can see it improves it quite a bit. But I think three coats, she could be virtually opaque on its own. Next we have Paris, which ended up being one of my favourites from that particular buy, and it was only a dollar. It's just this gold topper, like glitter topper. You could almost build it up, but not quite. So I put a black one underneath at one end so you can see, you know, it's basically see-through without, without that. That is two coats, so one coat is a bit more sparse, um, but over black it looks fantastic. It's super gorgeous. Love it. Um, then we have Diamonds Are Forever, which is basically just a silver glitter topper. It's got two or three. No, three different sizes of silver hexes in a clear base. Again, I've put it over black so you can see what it looks like. And down this end is how it looks without anything. You're not going to be able to build that one. <laughs> the last one from the Adelaide buy, or the Target buy, is this one, which is Holiday Rebel. Clearly meant to be a holiday polish. Um, it is red and green, maybe some iridescent glitters, hex glitters in, probably three different sizes, similar to the silver one, but in red and green, and at the end I've put it over a white so that you can see what it looks like on top of something else. Um, at two coats it is still a little bit sparse for my liking. I would have liked a little bit more to it. And the last three are ones that I got from Cosmetic Capital. They are all from the Kylie Jenner line, which I hadn't actually bought any of them. I hadn't really been tempted to, but these were on sale, so they were quite a bit cheaper. So I have one from the Trend Matters line in... Um, the, one of the mattes or satins or whatever. Um, this is Constellation, which is kind of a grey with a purple, like in the bottle, it's kind of grey with purple um, to green shift in it. I was actually kind of disappointed with this one on the nail. I mean, it looks fine, it just doesn't look as interesting as it does in the bottle. Maybe with a top coat it would look more interesting, but what's the point of a matte polish if you need a top coat to make it look better? So that's that one. It's okay, but I don't know. I think I was expecting more. Um, the other two, though, I'm actually quite happy with. The first one is Covet, which is from the Signature Collection. That is the white with the sparkly um, iridescent kind of bits in it. This was actually an incredibly good formula for a white. Like I could have pretty much got away with one coat. I did actually do two, but one would have pretty much done it if you finesse it right. So that's that one. I was actually pretty happy with that one. I kind of like that look. But the one that I was most happy with of the ones that I got is the one that is called On Fire, which is a pinky red base with an absolute bucket load of goldish shimmer in it. It is just fiery. It is awesome. On Fire is a great name for this. So that is all of the nail polishes for the first part of the, f well, the first part of the nail polishes, which is the second part of this collective haul. So if you want to see the third part, which is more nail polish, then click down below and subscribe and click the bell so that you get notification when I upload. If you like hauls, then leave me a thumbs up video, and if you like nail type stuff, leave me a thumbs up. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.